Hey, what's up guys? I'm back to you today with another CNR video. This is one that's been highly requested, so let's get right into it. This is the top five games of 2020. See you around. Number 5, Overwatch. I love Valorant. This game is what most developers can only dream of. It began with an innovative breakout marketing strategy, Twitch Drops. This became a staple of perfection, with an immediate positive response from fans of video games all around. Since then, its player base has done nothing but strive, with an active and growing group of players who make new ones feel welcome and returning ones right at home. On top of that, Valorant boasts a gameplay system that is completely unlike any other game. It doesn't need to tell you anything directly. The gameplay says it all. Valorant's gunplay is fair and consistent, which becomes increasingly clear the more you play. The gameplay wouldn't be what it is without its unique cast of characters. Each of these characters have their own specialized abilities that really shows off the game's personality. Overall, Valorant is the perfect example of Riot Games' ambition and ability to make a truly balanced and fun experience for their dedicated player base. Number 4. Fall Guys. I want you to visualize for me. Everything is black. You open your eyes. Nothing changes. There's something obstructing your vision. Blindfold, maybe? You can't tell. You're not sure. You hear footsteps. Heavy and lumbering marching towards you from the distance. You block out the footsteps and notice the subtle noise of dripping water. As vivid as it is, it's close. The footsteps stop. A door opens. It sounds large and metal, creaking and whining as it is shimmied open. You hear the door close. The footsteps approach, this time accompanied by a second set. These are quieter, more timid, reserved. A loud bang on the other side of the door, followed by an angry snarl. Something trying to get through, perhaps. You hear a high-pitched voice say, You saw him. He's hungry. Let him eat. A grisly voice replies, Fine. A couple light taps on the back of your head. The deeper voice whispers in your ear, Wake up, hot shot. What you pulled back there wasn't enough. It'll never be enough. You feel the touch of a hand go around from the back of your head all the way to your forehead. Just above your eyes, a burning sensation is left where the touch ended. You feel the blood dripping down the back of your neck. You're forced underwater. You can't see. You can't breathe. You hear a deep laughter muffled by the fluid filling your ears. As you are yanked out of the water, the burning sensation returns. The sound of scraping emanates from the floor, drawing air. You're swiftly struck on the back of the head. He's out. You're not out. The footsteps move away. It only sounded like one of them. The shrill sound of the metal door rang through the room once again. The deeper voice exclaimed, Dinner is served. He wasn't talking to you. Number 3. Animist. Animist is one of those games that you can just play for hours on end. One of those games where you can explore all day and just get lost in the beauty and mystery of its world. One small touch that really makes this game special is the sound design. The silence as you wait to be ambushed by one of Animist's many enemy types is one that is almost deafening. Luckily, the soothing sounds of an ocean that is nowhere to be seen keeps you guessing. Where is the sound coming from? Where did it go? Why is there literally no water to be seen? Why do the clouds look so damn good? All of this intense ambience comes together to form a game with enough content to last a lifetime. The combat is what really sets this game apart from most others. Each and every blow to your mouse perfectly synthesizes with the elegance of slamming your head against your keyboard to create a violent and fluid system to take down your opponents. Although most of the story and lore details must be surmised through subtle hints and small details littered throughout the world, Animus manages to create a story richer than most modern AAA titles. Animus does many things, even a base building game. You can spend hours creating whatever you can envision. Or if you're anything like me and my friends, you can spend hours trying to break into someone else's creation without even leaving a scratch. Animist also has one of the most intuitive mechanics I've ever seen. A mechanic which we have dubbed only as 
Albania vision illuminates your entire screen with a beam from the sky when an item of even just minor importance is nearby. Animus does not try to hide the fact that it is a game waiting in the shadows, waiting for its time to strike, to go unnoticed and take the world by storm. Because of this, I've even heard people compare it to famous celebrities like Kanye West, YNW Melody, and my one math teacher. This will go down as one of the greatest games of all time. Number 2. Google Docs What the fuck? Did I write this? Google Docs, baby! Woo! Bitch, you haven't seen this shit before? Docs changed the game. No one saw it coming. Word? On the internet? Blew my fucking mind. My tiny 6th grade brain had no idea what was going on. I truly thought it was the end. It was incomprehensible, amazing, awe-inspiring, jaw-dropping. What was I to do? I was to win. I was to seize that opportunity. That was when I started climbing to the top. Google put me at the head of their development team. Complex integrated drawing software? BOOM! Further typing suggestions? BOOM! The goddamn trademark symbol? BOOM! That was when I was granted a Nobel Peace Prize for my amazing work. The world didn't know what to do. I was the Steve Jobs of Google. And soon, I would be the Steve Jobs of them. Alright, uh, well, so, before we move into the finale, uh, I just, I wanted to take a little break from the satire, um, just to hammer in a couple of points, you know? Uh, number one, this, this is satire. I'm joking. Okay? Uh, number two, I legitimately hate Valorant. It's a horrible game. Um, number three, Animist actually has potential. It's, it's, it's the only game I, c I can see that the devs behind it actually care, so... Check that out. Give him some love. You know, you get the idea. It's, that's not that hard. Um, and uh, number... Shit, what are we on? Four, I think? Um, I actually do really dislike Valorant. As said before, but this video was almost just a video I made of me just completely shitting on this game. Because it, it, it really is horrible. It's, it's, a, it's a terrible game. Uh, one more thing. Um... My Twitter and Instagram for this channel are both linked on my YouTube page. So uh, usually I post whenever there's a video up and uh, sometime I'm posting updates and stuff. So if you want to see those, just go check those out. I'm going to take this opportunity quickly to say that if you enjoyed the video, just uh, like it, subscribe if you're not already, and uh, yeah, share it around. Just do what, do what needs to be done. Alright. Number one. Fork Drift. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you've probably already seen the video I made of this game. I never really got to communicate my thoughts, so I thought that maybe I'd do it here. Fork Drift is one of the greatest games of this year. Dare I say it, of all time. This is the media that I tell people to play without hesitation when they ask for a recommendation. It may be a competitive game with competitive game modes, but nothing can stop you from enjoying the immersive world for yourself. You're free to explore the barren and eerie landscape of Fork Drift as you search for the last of humanity. But they're gone. How could they possibly face you? This game is a lot of things, but I like to see it as a demonstration of modern technology, or even a holy scripture. But one thing is for sure, this can hardly be called a game. Cyberpunk 2077? Child's Play. Have you seen Fork Drift's customization? Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? A joke. Inferior exploration compared to Fork Drift. Shadow of the Colossus? Pfft. Talk about revolutionary. Fork Drift is the Dark Souls of life. Difficult. We often throw that word around without truly understanding the meaning of it. You are welcome to call something difficult, to call it hard, but you don't understand. Nothing rivals the sincerity of the unforgiving wrath that Fork Drift poses. This game's structure and backbone hold up the bare skeleton of the universe. We are nothing without it. 
reality would fall into shambles and ruin if this game was never made. The very fabric of time and space would collapse in a theatrical and extravagant silence. Death. 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 <laughs>